Today I want to show you how I use Dr. Joe Dispenza's opportunity principle to manifest $100,000 in quite a short period of time. And I want to read an abstract from an explanation of one of his meditations, and that's the Generating Abundance Meditation, in case you ever come across it or you want to invest in it. I mean, as I always say, I'm not affiliated with Dr. Joe Dispenza in any way. I don't, um, yeah, I don't gain any benefit from recommending it. The only benefit I gain from it is actually that I can help you and that I can use it as examples because I learned a lot from Dr. Joe Dispenza and I love to use his meditations and his principles to manifest what I want. And today I first want to read from this abstract that I've written down while listening to the meditation, or let's better say to the explanation part of the meditation. And I truly hope that I can read what I wrote down because I have an absolutely terrible handwriting. And I actually wrote that down today at about 6.30 in the morning while I was starting to do the meditation. And then I came up with the idea, hey, I want to share that on the Affirmation to Manifestation podcast with all my amazing deliberate creators. <laughs> and then I just wrote it down while I was still drowsy, like... <laughs> and now I'm actually struggling with trying to read the gibberish that I wrote down. <laughs> so yes, that's how bad my handwriting is, but doesn't matter, I'll figure it out. So today I want to show you how you can use Dr. Joe Dispenza's opportunity principle to manifest large sums of money. And when it comes to the generating abundance meditation, which is a meditation that I really like and that I do very often, the idea is that you tune into the frequency of abundance, which is also something that we can focus on if you, for example, decide to work with me in a hypnosis session. I can help you to reach the frequency of what you want to manifest, especially if you're still struggling with reaching those frequencies. Because during a hypnosis session, we can tap into your subconscious mind and then make it happen. And by the way, if you want to find out more about hypnosis sessions with me, you can go to affirmationtomanifestation.com slash hypnosis. So now please allow me to read from that abstract and then I want to dive into a few points that are important for you if you want to manifest money. So during that introduction for that meditation, Joe Dispenza says, Abundant people are not lazy. They don't wait for things to happen to them in their life. They are self-starters. They go out and make things happen. Abundant people don't limit themselves to one outcome. Abundant people don't focus on money. They focus on opportunity. And it's opportunities then that they are after. When there is a vibrational match between your energy and that potential in the quantum field of abundance, you begin calling experiences to you in ways you haven't thought of. These experiences will be opportunities. See these opportunities as equally important as money. And I now want to address a few points from this, yeah, this little talk that Joe Dispenza presents us at the beginning of this meditation, because there's so much wisdom inside these few sentences when it comes to manifesting money. Let's start with the beginning. They are self-starters. They are not lazy. They don't wait for things to happen. They go out and make things happen. One of the biggest problems that I have with the law of attraction community is laziness. And don't get me wrong, some people who only work matter to matter would describe me as lazy because I only work about, yeah, three to five hours a day. However, I'm still doing something. The big problem that I have in the law of attraction community, or let's say the big problem that a lot of deliberate creators have when they want to create, is that they get the first step right. They raise their vibration, they feel better, they manifest and they manifest and they use their affirmations and they again raise their vibration and then, then something magical happens. They wake up in the morning with an insight, with an idea that could lead them to the money that they want to manifest. And this might be the impulse to change a job. This might be the impulse to simply open a job application site in this very specific moment. And then there they would see their dream job that they could just apply for. And then the universe would present it to them on a silver platter. But what do they do instead? They sit on the couch. They maybe follow that impulse and see their dream job. And they say to themselves, oh, huh, I don't need that. I mean, <laughs> I'm waiting for my manifestation. They have this idea in their mind that every meditation, uh, sorry, every manifestation comes in the same way. They don't have to do anything and then somebody knocks on the door and says, hello, here's your $100,000.
Sometimes, yes, sometimes it can work like that. I also received unexpected money in the past, and so have many students from Dr. Joe Dispenza. However, a lot of times, the universe gives you breadcrumbs in forms of ideas, in forms of opportunities, as Dr. Joe Dispenza describes it. I mean, that's why I always say follow the breadcrumbs. But what if you do everything right and the universe throws one breadcrumb after another in front of you and you look at the breadcrumbs and you say to yourself, I don't want to follow that. I mean, that would be work in the physical sense. I'm manifesting here. I just sit on the couch and wait for it. While the universe screams at you from all corners of your room, don't you see that sign? I sent you this person. You just have to meet him. I sent you this opportunity. I sent you this idea. I sent you this insight. I mean, just imagine... A couple of weeks ago, uh, sorry, no, a couple of years ago, not a couple of weeks ago, a couple of years ago, I was completely broke. I had nothing. No business I ever started succeeded beyond, I would say, $1,000 or $1,500 a month. And nowadays, I'm making so much money that now, after just three years of manifesting... I'm in a place where I literally don't have to work for the next 20 years unless I want to. I am financially free. How did I get there? I got there by doing the work, by doing exactly what I share with you, and also by using the principles that are included in the Money Manifestation Magnet program that you can, by the way, find out more about by going to affirmationtomanifestation.com slash money. And what I also did, believe it or not, I followed the breadcrumbs. I focused on the opportunities that the universe provided me with. I didn't just sit on the couch and say, Oh, you know, I got this idea and that idea and this idea. Nah, I'm not going to do it. I was fired up and the universe provided me with so many ideas and at some point I didn't even have the time to do them. I mean, you might have listened to some of the very first episodes of the Affirmation to Manifestation podcast and there I mentioned it over and over again. I didn't even want to start that podcast. I was so busy with other businesses and in the beginning I actually lost money because I focused my awareness and I focused my attention and my energy on the Affirmation to Manifestation podcast, which meant I had to slow down a little bit in other areas where I already made way more money. So yes, in the beginning I actually didn't want to do it, but the universe kept on, ba -bom, ba -bom, ba -bom, sent me one idea, one insight, one product idea after another. And I still remember I didn't, yeah, I didn't really sit down and say, oh, what kind of product can I create? The 11 Days to Manifestation Mastery program, in the same way as the Money Manifestation Magnet program, came to me. I woke up with that stuff. And I know if you're not really practiced in manifesting and you're new to that, you might say, yeah, right, it just came to you. <laughs> uh, what kind of stuff did you take? But I promise you, that's how it was. I never sat down and said, who, what can I create? Hmm, what should I do? Hmm, I don't know. It just came to me. I had to write it down. I had to record it. Everything yeah, everything came together so naturally in such a flow state. And that's exactly what happens when the universe provides you with these incredible opportunities. And now think about the other aspect that Dr. Joe Dispenza talks about in his, yeah, in his meditation introduction. And this is so important that you now listen very carefully and not just listen with your brain, but also with your heart. It's opportunities then that they are after. And when there's a vibrational match between your energy and that potential in the quantum field of abundance, then you begin calling experiences to you in ways you haven't thought of. These experiences will be opportunities and now see the opportunities as equally important as money. And especially in these sentences, focus on you will call these experiences to you in ways you haven't thought of, in ways you could have never imagined. That's the unknown. That's when the universe surprises you. And yes, it's so interesting for me when I look back on my manifestation journey, especially when it comes to manifesting money. I mean, today's episode is all about manifesting money. In the beginning, I focused on I make X amount of dollars each month with this one business because back then it was the only business I had. And I thought to myself, okay, I don't have any other ideas. I want to scale this business. And during that time, the universe probably thought to himself like, oh, face palm moment, Sebastian, what are you doing? We have all these ideas for new businesses, for new opportunities, and you are focusing on that. Why are you doing this? And in the beginning, I just manifested a little bit of money. But the real money first started coming in once I changed 
from focusing on making money with that business on focusing on simply making money and allowing the universe to fill in the blanks. Because sometimes these opportunities come to you in ways that you don't expect and the opportunities itself will be opportunities that you could have not foreseen. That's the unknown, that's the universe, and that's when the magic can happen. Because once I then started to manifest from that energy, basically saying, okay, I'm ready to reach the frequency of abundance, I'm ready to manifest money, universe, just bring me whatever is right for me. That's when the magic happened. That's when the new business ideas came up. And I mean, nowadays I have about 10 to 12, I mean, two are just in the developing phase, 12 different businesses, you can say. And back then I had one. And since I no longer limit myself, all these ideas come to me. And believe it or not, I don't have to work one hour more. It just, it's just a magical process. And once you do that, once you really focus on manifesting money with Dr. Joe Dispenza's opportunity principle, that's when wealth will come to you. And of course, what's also a good idea is to program your subconscious mind for feeling worthy of that wealth, for feeling worthy of financial abundance. And that's why I created the Money Manifestation Magnet program for you that you can, like I mentioned before, find out more about by going to affirmationtomanifestation.com slash money. And I want to end this episode by again repeating what Dr. Joe Dispenza said in the introduction of this meditation. And I want you to listen to it closely and carefully with your brain and with your heart. And then I invite you to follow this advice. So I want to say it again. Abundant people are not lazy. They don't wait for things to happen to them in their life. They are self-starters. They go out and make things happen. Abundant people don't limit themselves to one outcome. Abundant people don't focus on money. They focus on opportunity. And it's opportunities then that they are after. When there is a vibrational match between your energy and that potential in the quantum field of abundance, you begin calling experiences to you in ways you haven't thought of. These experiences will be opportunities. See these opportunities as equally important as money. And yes, I want to emphasize that again, see these opportunities as equally important as money because they will lead you to the money. And now I hope that you use the opportunity principle, that you work with it and that you manifest money with it. And I also hope that you are now ready to subscribe to the Affirmation to Manifestation podcast. And if you do, then I want to welcome you to the Affirmation to Manifestation family. And I also invite you to leave a review on iTunes for the Affirmation to Manifestation podcast. And if you do that, you can send an email to Sebastian at affirmationtomanifestation.com with a screenshot of your iTunes review. And I will say thank you so much by giving you free instant access to the first 10 minutes of the first module of the 11 Days to Manifestation Mastery program. And if you enjoyed watching this video, please send out some love to the YouTube universe by giving this video a big, big thumbs up. And I would also appreciate it if you would leave a comment in the comment section below and let me know what you think about my video. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel and to click on the notification bell so that you get notified whenever I release a new video for you.